but I can't catch her now because I'm too sick. But I, I'll try. I want to thank uh, the Hall of Fame for, for President Swig to me. And you, this has been my oldest friend since I started wrestling right here. He's called Tom Drake. So I just want to thank everybody. I don't remember this to stay. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> thank you very much. Everybody's got a price, so they say. Uh, but this is a, a priceless moment for me. JJ, thank you very much. You know, uh, this is like a, this is a dream come true for me. Uh, I, I'm a kid who grew up in the wrestling industry. As I walked through the Hall of Fame today, and I looked at a lot of those pictures on the wall, I saw a lot of men who used to come to our house, have dinner with us, who I watched as a young man. I mean, sitting right here in this room, uh, guys that were very influential in my career. Uh, the wrestling business is a one great big family. It's like a, a very unique fraternity. And it's, it's, a, it's really special to be a part of it. And uh, it's been my entire life. I want to thank everybody that, that has something to do with this. And, and I want to be as, as much of a part of it as I can possibly be. And this was really special for me too because in, in, in what I've done, I'm, I've, I've been away. And I haven't been connected uh, very closely to a lot of my friends, and I spent most of my life in this industry. And uh, this was, this has been a special weekend. And I've already, I've already uh, said that Cauliflower Alley comes up next year. I'm just going to mark it on the calendar. I'm going to be there. You, know, you got to get back together with your friends. And again, thanks for honoring me. There's no greater honor than to be honored by your peers. Holy cow, man! You know, first string I got was this little one here, and it's cost me millions of dollars. <laughs> this one inside here, I'm scared shitless. I see Mr. Butcher Vachon. I see the best team, Mr. Patterson, Ted DiBiase, Mr. Steele. They're all, they're all my fathers. You know, I, they adopted me in this business. Uh, I didn't have no place to go, and. Uh, <laughs> Father Sean, 15 years old, sent me with Mad Dog. <laughs> you know, so I'm a little warped. You know? uh, but 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 the fact is, as we grew up, you know, we looked. Uh, I and the generation of, of mine, we looked at all of you. And I, I want to make sure I don't miss any names here. You know, so looked at all of you for at times we had. We were bucking horns. At times we were looking for advice. At times I had no clue where I was or why I was there. And you know, I don't have my name tag on, otherwise I'll tell you who I am. You know? <laughs> uh, and the truth of the matter is, I, I was so lost, all of a sudden they gave me the one thing that I wanted most, was a family. This Hall of Fame now, this Hall of Fame now, it's gonna grow. And I'm going back to the kids that listen to me and tell them they need to support it. And it's gonna grow into a building one time and it'll be the hottest Hall of Fame in North America for anything. And I am so pleased and honored and happy. Thank you so much. I'm speechless. I see all the beautiful lady wrestlers. I see this is the first young man I ever met on my way to the Olympics in 52 at Ames, Iowa. Tom, Mr. Tom Drake. And I, we were the only two on the station. There was a lot of snow on the, at that time. The train was almost delayed. And he looked at me and he said, uh, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Ames, Iowa. And he says, I'm going there and I'm going to win it. And uh, <laughs> sorry, Tom. And the only thing I could think of was, so am I. <laughs> I have wrestled amateur, boxed amateur, boxed professionally. I would like to go back to my love of wrestling. And long story short, uh, in nine months, I was world junior heavyweight champion. And, and, uh, like I said, I want to thank all the fans and, and the ladies. 
I'm sitting here looking at all the young men that I have wrestled over the years, been to Japan with many times, and I just, I just love you. And appreciate you, Tony, for everything you've done uh, at the hall here. God bless uh, that this is going to be a great, the greatest museum that you'll look at, and I hope everyone will go back and say what they have really seen and done here at the reunion. Uh, God bless you, and thank you very much. Patterson, Roddy Piper, George Animal Steel, they're all telling you that you got to go to Amsterdam, New York on 30 East Main Street and check out the Hall of Fame. You know, I go there as much as I can and I'm always there for the induction ceremonies in May. We'd like to thank Tony Filano for helping us out and giving us that segment and we'd like to thank everyone for helping us out here at the Brutal Truth Radio. Before we go, we want to give you the wrestling web pick of the week. It is, of course, Online World of Wrestling, also known as ObsessedWithWrestling.com. They are the greatest wrestling website if you're a wrestling fan. They have profiles, they have pictures, they have everything that you can imagine, and everything that is professional wrestling. Thanks again for watching The Brutal Truth, and remember, I'm KJ Hacker, and we will see you in the ring.